Welcome back everybody. This is Marilyn with MKR Creations and it's a planner day. Today I'm going to use my Miss Maker and I'm probably going to use one sticker out of my teacher planner stickers because I am scheduled to work one day this week. So we'll put that on our schedule. Hope you're all having a wonderful week. Um, we finally have had the rain stop. We've had rain for days upon days. Today we finally got sunshine, so that is really nice. This week I need to spend more time in my craft room. Um, there is, well, there are two craft fairs coming up. Um, I haven't been accepted into the one yet, but I did it last year, so I'm hoping to get an inv invitation. And the other one is kind of an iffy. They've already sent out letters telling us that depending how COVID goes, it will depend whether we actually are having that one. So I just want to be prepared so that if we do actually have these craft fairs this Christmas season, I will be ready to go. So let's start with a nice long one along the edge. And this is just a long list type sticker. I'll put it down here. And it actually is Kind of a to-do list for the week and I think I have never used these long ones with the uh, different designs I think these would be cute to put down this week so I think we're gonna do that the, we've got a line of purple here that would go well with the purple that we have here so I think we'll, we'll give that a try. Oh, and these are long, long, so I'm going to end up cutting that. But that is okay. And I'm going to put it underneath the line there so that if my sticker, you know, comes all the way down, it doesn't cover the design because I want that to stay. They're not as long as the page, so I'm not really sure if I'm using that right, but I guess there is really no right way to use your stickers. Just use them however you want. All right. So now let's put some other stickers in for inspirational type stickers. Here's a good one that kind of describes me. I can't clean my craft room because I get distracted by all the good stuff that I find again. And that is so, so me. If my craft room is clean, I am not creating. So it's either I have to choose to create or to clean. And most of the time I end up choosing to create because it is just a happier thing to do. And here's another one that's just so me.
And it says, some days I amaze myself, others I spend 30 minutes looking for my scissors when I'm already holding them in my hand. And I, I can have something in my hand one second, lay it down, and God knows I cannot find it. And it's like, what did I do with that? And I won't move from this desk. It'll be somewhere on my crafting desk. Here's another cute one. But first you don't succeed, just add glitter and keep going. Sometimes you just need a little bling. I'm going to put that here on Friday, even though I'm teaching on Friday. We need something to decorate there. And I love this sticker with all the scissors on it. It's just so cool. Let's see. I'm going to need some, something to use for bullet points or to-do lists. This week I do have to plan holiday craft projects. Decide what is going to be what I have versus what I need to work on. If there's any supplies I need to get. I was going to go to Hobby Lobby last week and I did not make it. So I need to figure out what I need from there. But in order to do that, I have to look and see what I already got. I love these little cards. They are so cute. There's one here that says, we'll work for craft supplies. I often joke when I talk to the ladies at Hobby Lobby that if I worked here, I'd just be handing back my whole paycheck. And a lot of them say, yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> so, yep, I would be just handing it back. Too many awesome things. Just going to put some... Of, uh, little um oh disc things from the happy planner down and kind of use them as bullet points there I like this glue gun I'd make a cute bullet point too like going to be a totally crafting page which I don't often do 
I think instead of using the teacher sticker book, there's one here with pen and pencil, and I'll just put that down and use that as the bullet point for the fact that I'm working that day. There's a cute pair of scissors. Punch. There's some tags. Those over here. And some ribbons. I'm going to put a planner down here on Friday. Remind me to get videos done. And then, let's see. I think I want to put a Miss Maker in here, but... Put a large mist maker over here. There. So, I don't remember. I think I'm at Jefferson that day. I'm not going to write it in until I'm absolutely sure. Don't think I have any doctor's appointments this week, so I think the whole week will be spent working Friday. Um, may pick up some other days, depending how it goes. And maybe spend some extra time, some quality time here in the craft room. So... Comment below what your plans are for this week. I'd love to know what you're all up to. And what kind of planning do you do? What kind of crafting do you do? If you are a crafter. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And I hope you'll come back to see me next time. Happy planning, everyone. Have a wonderful week.